48 inch jib arm. Two people are required for this setup. To set up with included tripod. First attach the tripod feet and tighten. Set tripod to desired position and height. Tighten all knobs and secure all the feet with sandbags. Next, mount the riser by using the bottom knob to tighten. Remove weight bar from jib tube. Next provide a sturdy surface for the jib end to rest on. Locate the 3.8 bolt and washer. Mount the jib onto the tripod and tighten the bolt with the wrench provided. Do not take hands off during this period. You may need to tighten the top nut as well. Use two wrenches, one on the bottom and one on the top to create a tight mount. Next, attach the camera mount. Loosen Allen screws and then attach the mount. Tighten the screws securely. Mount weight bar and secure it in place with the quick release pin. Place 100mm ball adapter. Next mount 100mm ball tripod head. Mount camera and set up in appropriate configuration for your needs. Balance the camera to your tripod head and lock into place. Add enough weight to leave camera jib end slightly heavier. Moving the weight higher on the bar would give you more leverage, but you must secure the weights with barbell nuts on both sides. Make sure movement is smooth. Test tripod pan and tilt functions. The jib arm should now be ready for active use. Mitchell Mount Tripod Setup The use of other tripods may be desirable, as dolly wheels can often be attached, making moving to new positions easier. Lock the wheels, and add sandbags before use. Do not attempt to roll the tripod, and operate the jib arm simultaneously. Use designated Mitchell tie-down included. Riser is not needed for this setup. Follow previously shown procedures, to complete, setup. Also included is an attachment, for use with 100mm ball tripods. Thanks for watching.